I'm back and now I'm going to show you how to set up a simple workflow in Flowdesk. Um, so a workflow, in case you don't know what that is, is essentially like an automation that is triggered by someone taking an action on one of your forms. So um, someone goes to your website, sees the pop-up for them to subscribe to your newsletter, and um, you have an automatic email that says welcome to the newsletter like that's an automation that's a workflow same thing with your freebies they go to your website want to download the freebie they give you your, their email address you have a workflow that automatically sends them the freebie download as well as like a sequence of emails to keep uh, marketing to them so i'm going to show you how to do a simple version of that so if you and go to workflows I have a bunch of them set up, but I'm going to show you how to set one up from scratch. So create new. The beauty of Flowdesk is that they actually give you a bunch of these already pre-done. So um, they know that typically you're going to do like a welcome sequence. You're going to be nurturing. So welcome sequence is pretty obvious. You're welcoming them to like your newsletter list. A nurture sequence is when like a lead um, signs up for something perhaps it could be like a freebie or they were interested in something that was a, supposed to be a one-off thing you want to keep nurturing them to warm them up to actually you know buy from you you can do, do your lead magnet delivery or a sales sequence the most common one i'm going to do is the lead magnet delivery so i'm going to show you how to do that one you can get a preview of any of the options that they provide um, just by clicking on it and then you can scroll and see everything it's very simple so i'm going to show you how to customize this so the trigger is they come from a segment. So make sure that you have the segment set up as I told you before. And this is your only option. So I just wanted to show you that. Now you just choose the segment. I'm gonna do the flow desk training again. So now when someone fills out that form that's called flow desk training, then they are automatically dropped into this workflow as soon as that happens. Now, if you decide that maybe you wanna wait and send it later, um, you can do that by adding different conditions. I'm going to show you how to get someone in here and then how to send more later. So the first thing you want is to automatically give them whatever they ask to download. So this is a freebie email that you can edit. So I'm going to go in here. And then I've shown you guys how to, you know, do customization. So kind of the same deal here. I like to change like my backdrop. I think my logo is too small, so let me make that larger. As you can see, like it's very easy to customize things in this system. Um, you can change this, you know, we've seen this. I'm not going to take you guys back through customizations because I've already shown you, but as you can see, it's all available here. So now you come down to the freebie. So, you know, you have your freebie, you put the title here, and now you want to make sure that you add the PDF. So you just click on that and you click on link. And then you can either link it to a web address if it's something online or you can attach a file. I'm going to show you just attaching it to a file. Their freebie is going to be getting this picture. <laughs> So you would just attach the, the file, it uploads it for you. We'll let that finish processing. All right, so now you can make things look nice. So um, for instance, the, the block background color, like you can do stuff to it. You can have, um, an image or something like behind it so you can upload your own image like this little gray area is for you to put like a background image so I'm gonna do doesn't really matter so it's gonna upload this picture in the background you can change anything about this that you want to change it's very very easy I might have interrupted the image upload yeah sorry about that let me go ahead and do that real quick again you got to let this finish, so that's something to note that um, it needs to actually finish uploading before you click off of it. So once that uploads, look at that, and now I'm like, oh, I don't like how that looks, so I want to change this, you know. Background color is terrible. Put that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So you can do anything that you want there, and then you can change this to, like, your name. 
I don't like that font, so I can change it to something more fun. Look at how beautiful that is. I already have my Instagram. I showed you guys in the very first video how to set up all of your branding, and I told you about all the links as well. You can customize how those look. You can have it be, you know, these original buttons. You can have them with a background, or you can have it with a transparent background, um, and you can change the color of it. So because we're using green, I'll do something pretty in green. And look at how this is all branded. Very, very, very easy. And then you would just click on finish. Down here, you would make your subject line. Do that. And then preview text is just like when you're going to like looking at your phone, at your Gmail. Um, you'll see the title, like the subject line, and then you'll see like a little blurb of something. That's the little blurb. So you can enter whatever you want for your little blurb. And then that's it. So then the next time, okay, so you send them that freebie, but you want to keep nurturing them. So you would add something next. Um, you don't want them to get two emails in one day. So let's set a time delay. Time delay gives you four options. You can have it for a certain period of time, like one day, one hour, you know, whatever you want to do. You can have it a certain day of the week. On Mondays, you want to email them, you know, every single Monday, a certain time of day. For instance, I had a sales email that was going out every day at 6 p.m. So you can do something like that. Or you can do it a specific day of the year. If this is like a birthday email sequence, then you would, you know, do whatever you want. Or if this is like a, you do this every year, like a New Year's resolution sequence, you can do that every time. So um, the easiest one is period of time, and I'm going to wait one day. So after one day, so they, they sign up for this list, they want the freebie. Immediately after being added to this list, which is coming from the form, you pick that segment, they're going to get this freebie. Then one day, so if they got the freebie on Saturday, they won't get anything on Sunday, and then on Monday they'll get something from you. So you're going to send an email. So let's see, I don't have any, oh, I can duplicate emails. For the sake of time, I'm going to just grab one of my old, my other emails that I have. So I'm going to grab that, throw that in here. And then I'm going to add another thing. So, okay, say you want to add conditions like, okay, did this person actually click on the link? And if they did click on the link, I want this to happen. Or are they not opening things? So you can do conditions. So let's do a condition. The conditions always have a yes or no. So this is the different options that you have for conditions. One is the subscriber is in a new segment, so you can grab another segment. When they are added to a new segment, then they can get this. Um, if they open one of your particular emails, so it's warning you that they're going to check this immediately. So one day has passed. As soon as they get this one, they're going to check that. That's fine. So the freebie is attached, or the in this one are the only two emails. Did they actually open this email? That's what I want it to check. If they open this particular email, then something can happen. But let me show you the rest of your options. You can have subscriber has clicked the link in the email. So it's going to check the two emails that you have in this. It's going to say, okay, which two links, what do you have as a link in here? So in this one, I only have one link in the, oh, there's several links. It'll let you do like Instagram, Twitter, any links that you have in that email, it will allow you to use as a point of reference to say, if this person clicked this link, let me do this. And then the last option is a field matches. This is very, very specific. So either a website address, uh, their last name or their first name so it's very specific so if you want everybody whose name is Sarah to get something you can do that which would I don't know why you would do that <laughs> so in this instance I'm gonna say they opened an email that's gonna be my condition and did they open this website audit email all right so now if the answer is yes then I want to do another time delay I'm gonna wait another day and then I'm going to send them another email and I'm going to duplicate just for the sake of time. And I'm just going to grab this and send this to them. Just click on make a copy. And then if the answer is no, then I am going to um, send them something right away. And again, you would just send something just reminding them like, hey, you still have an opportunity to get this thing, whatever you want to do. Okay. So it's really, really easy to add time delays, to add conditions. Um, there's something else you can do as well called an action. So once this, if they get to this step, right after that happens, you want to take an action. You want to either remove them. If they're not responding to any of this or, you know, right when they get to this, you want to be done with this person. You can remove them from this segment 
or you can add them to a new segment. Say they want this audit and now anyone who takes that audit, you want to do something else like you have another sales, you know, um, a sales workflow you want to add them to, then you can add them to a new segment. So I'm going to click on that option and I'm going to add them to, you know, this one. So now when they go through this, as soon as they get that, they're going to be added to a new segment. So those are all of your options of things that you can do. Um, you can do actions, you can do conditions, you can do time delays, or you can just add an email. It's very, very easy to do workflow. So now when you pick all of the things that you want to happen, you would click publish. And then it says, do you want to publish it now? And I'm going to say yes. And then that's it. Easy.